Hello my beautiful Scorpios and cross watchers. Guys, I just want to apologize if I haven't had a chance to post all 12 signs. Um, I'm just going through a lot right now. I'm going through a move. I have a lot of personal readings, but I am trying to get it together and uh, hopefully soon we'll be able to post all 12 signs all the time. So I just wanted to apologize, okay? Um, all right, guys, so if you're currently a subscriber, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. Um, <clears throat> please be sure to do so. I do give away free readings um, every month. I choose multiple subscribers. I give away tarot cards and oracle cards, so please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. Um, I do, uh, the, the winners are always announced on the monthlies, okay? So just click that notification bell so that you're notified. I am taking personal readings. Information is in the description box below. $5 off your first reading. And the deck we're using today is the Universal Golden Tarot, and it is number nine in the description box below, okay? So guys, let's go over your pre-shuffle real quick here, okay? Um, so first of all, I feel that you have a very strong soul tie with somebody. Um, we could be dealing with a husband or a wife, definitely mom or dad, okay? Um, you may have children with this person, somebody that you've overcome a lot of challenges with, a lot of challenges with, okay? And, um, you know, I, I strongly feel like you don't want to let this person go, um, or you may be, uh, conflicted about something and holding on to something that you're not expressing, Okay, um, that is possible. But ultimately, guys, I got this very strong sense of home, family, happiness, um, being financially abundant, standing strong in your power as mom and dad or husband and wife or, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be. But I am seeing a very strong connection here with somebody. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what we have here, guys. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? Holy Spirit. Finances and career. And free yourself. And for your person, we have retreat and we have chemistry. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Scorpios and their person, please? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Scorpios and their person, October 21st through the 22nd, please? Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, the Tower the Ace of Pentacles, and the Devil, and this, the Temperance card here. Yeah, see, I think what's coming out here, Scorpio, is what you're conflicted about here. That, that conflict is something that you were holding back, something that you weren't saying. So we have the hair font in reverse here. Okay. All right, guys. So Scorpio, I'm going to be reading you on this side, your person on this side. And you could flip it, twist it, reverse it. That's fine. Okay. Uh, it is a, a general reading. Um, and if it doesn't resonate at all, then um, that's, it's just not your message. That's okay. Don't force it to fit. Okay. So Scorpio, I'm just looking at this because I find this so interesting because in your, in your pre-shuffle, I got a sense of a very happy home family life kind of, but there was also something that you were very conflicted about or something, some fighting that was happening or something that you were holding back. Okay. Um, and then we have finances and career financial issues. I got something with money on the, um, on the pre-shuffle, but financial issues seem to be an issue right now. And Spirit is advising to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, okay? So maybe somebody here is, you know, taking a lot of your money, uh, uh, Scorpio, or you're giving your whole paycheck to your person and you would like to keep something to yourself. Yeah, because we have here loss, loss financially. 
you're losing financially. Um, I'm getting a sense of maybe you're coming home and giving like your whole paycheck to your person or you're spending a lot of money on your person. And I feel that, you know, you want this to change. You want this to change. There, It's going to cause a fight. It's going to cause an argument and you're going to keep your paychecks to yourself because, you know, you're, you're greedy. <laughs> you're being a little greedy here, Scorpio, okay? And with the temperance card, you feel very strongly um, that you're trying to balance out these emotions, maybe because for some of you, you do have a family and you are trying to do the right thing, but you kind of want to keep some money to yourself. You know what I'm saying? We could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but, uh, you know, ultimately here, a, a Scorpio, I feel that, you know, overall the love in your relationship, the family life, everything else seems to be okay. The only thing that's really bothering you right now is that you're giving your whole paychecks or all your money to somebody and you're kind of like, well, you're being a little greedy, a little selfish. You're like, I do just like something for me. Is that okay? Can I have something? You know what I'm saying? Now, on your person side, we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And then we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, so I'm feeling Scorpio that maybe, well, you know, one download I got, maybe your person is trying to take money to save so you guys can go away on vacation. Okay, um, or maybe your person uh, just feels really happy right now because I'm getting a uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a sense from your person that they're trying to take the, you know, move the away from toxicity in your connection. Okay. They're trying to retreat, um, from all, from anybody that, uh, is hurting your relationship or any issues that are hurting your relationship. I feel that your relationship in general, your person has managed to steer the connection into a more peaceful place. Okay. Cause I did get a peaceful, happier home life. Okay. And with the three of cups here, I feel that you guys are celebrating. You are celebrating this peace and this victory in your connection okay um now when it comes down to chemistry and having a strong magnetic attraction here i feel like your person finds you very attractive but they're waiting for you to overcut like they're they, they're waiting for something maybe um Maybe because you're upset over finances, you're not coming on to them sexually as much as they would like because they're waiting for that offer from you. You know what I'm saying? They're waiting from that offer. Hold on one moment. Guys, I'm so sorry about that. So yeah, so I mean, you know, I feel like your person, Scorpio, is waiting for you to reach out to them, to come towards them more often, okay? Now... What's happening between the both of you here? I'm getting a lot with traveling. Like someone here is really focused on either moving or maybe going on vacation with you or not. But for ultimately, I feel like for both of you, this is a new beginning here, Scorpio. For you and your person, um, it, it is maybe you guys have moved somewhere new and you're starting to reaping the benefits of, of those of that of those of 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 all the benefits that come with having moved, okay? Maybe you guys have recently moved into a new apartment or moved to a different state, or, you know, it's just a new beginning in your relationship. Like your relationship has taken a new turn for the better, for the better, okay? But it's just different because now you're really settling into this family life. And for you, Scorpio, money seems to be a real concern. I think when it comes down to love or kids or whatever it else, I mean, I think everything else is okay. But I just feel like for you, money is a big concern. And, you know, What's crossing the situation is that you are, you do want to hold back a little bit. The fact that you're holding back a little bit, the fact that financially you do want to keep a little bit for yourself. And you see here, it's really a lot about money here, Cam, uh, uh, Scorpio. We have here financial loss with the five of pentacles and we have the knight of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy so i feel like you're you're bringing in money you're bringing in money and losing money bringing in money and losing money like everything that you make somebody just keeps taking from you okay and you know here with the with the high priestess in reverse i feel that this is something that you feel like i said in your pre-shuffle you're holding this to yourself but i feel like there's going to be this really big tower moment where you're going to blow up break free and say listen i you know I, I feel this is the way I feel and I'm tired of, you know, giving all that I have, you know, sometimes even as parents, you know, yeah, you come home, you give your full paycheck, but maybe somebody's restricting you from doing things that you want to do or going places that you want to go and you can't do anything because they have all your money. You know, there's something, a big tie here with money. Okay. A very big tie here with money. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that may not resonate with everybody, but I do feel that, um, <clears throat> 
Yeah, I do feel that that's, that's your case right now, Scorpio. You might be investing a little bit more financially into something than, than you care to, okay? All right, guys, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, uh, my information is in the description box below. Take care, guys.